In this module, we're going to show how to make the printer web connected. So the T790, T1300, and the T2300 are web connected printers. So in order to make them web connected, you enter the, the menu. In the main menu, you should see the connectivity option. You select that, and you launch the connectivity wizard. Now this will guide you through and check to see if it can, the printer can connect to the internet. Why would you need to connect to the internet? So that you can use ePrint and Share through the printer, so that you can make the printer a remote printer, and so that you can configure the automatic firmware update check as well. So if we go into the wizard and we launch it, it will go through five steps of checking the connectivity. First of all, it shows you that it is uh, connected to the network. It has an IP address. You press con continue and it will verify all the uh, network settings. Once that's done, now it will check to see if it can connect to the internet and it will go through all those checks. Once those are configured, you go on to the next step. Now it will try to connect to the ePrint and Share server. Once that is done, it will now try to connect to the ePrint Center. At this point, you can uh, select to be involved in the customer involvement program so that we, uh, HP can gather feedback from the printer. If you don't want to participate in that, you can press no thanks. Now, it will do an automatic check where for, the, for the latest firmware. When, when, once that is checked, the test is complete, and you can exit out of that. In this module, we're going to talk about the firmware update. There's three ways of updating the firmware. The first method is using a USB stick with the firmware actually loaded on it and inserting it into the USB slot. The second option is using the embedded web server where you can actually configure it to check on a regular basis and automatically update the printer. And you can also do it manually through the embedded web server also. You can configure the printer itself to check on a regular basis for new firmware and download it automatically. To do that, you enter into the menu, go, scroll down to updates, and then firmware update. Here you can select to check for uh, new firmware automatically or manually. You can also select to automatically download the firmware or manually. Even though you select to download it automatically, the firmware will be downloaded but will not be installed automatically. You will have that option to do that. You can also see what the current firmware loaded in the printer, 
and you can manually check for a new firmware update. If for any reason you install the firmware and you're not happy with the latest version, you do have an option of downgrading. Why is firmware so important and why is it so important to upgrade it? Well, since these are uh, future ready printers, new features are added on a regular basis. So it's always worthwhile updating the firmware to the latest version.